My name is Matt. I'm the consent geek of the trio of the de-armoring team. Um, I'm, yeah, in personal development and uh, tantra and um, sacred sexuality and body work and uh, all that since 25 years. And about uh, five years, I'm uh, flying solo with my work that calls Somatic Consent and Somatic Errors. I educate individuals, couples. Um, in being good to each other. And uh, I'm doing the consent work uh, as a guest uh, teacher in the de-armoring training. And um, that's my fifth, fifth or sixth training. I think it's... I'm not counting, but you yeah, feel like... Quite, quite, quite some. But, but trainings like this, um, the armoring training, I've done about 15 plus the de-armoring training. So... I'm a kind of old dog in this uh, <laughs> terrain. <laughs> okay, Diane, please go ahead. Well, I'm also an old dog. Um, I think most of you know me. Does anybody doesn't know me here, actually? So I need to introduce myself. Or anybody doesn't know me? You don't know me. Okay. So hi. All right. So I've been on this uh, self-inquiry path pretty much since 17. I mean, to be honest, like when I was 17 to 20, I was exploring magic and manipulation. So yes, it was a self-discovery, but not really in a, in a lightest possible way. So I've kind of burnt my fingers in that as well. But what I'm trying to say is I've been kind of exploring myself for a very, very long time. So um, then I uh, fell into the armory in Kano by mistake when I was about 37 in Amsterdam. And then since then, I then I didn't even know it was called the armoring. It was just... I had the most amazing release in, in a Chine Sang session that changed my life. So then I discovered like, wow, there is this thing that in only a few hours I can really change a lot. So then I started digging and finding out um, different ways of quickest, most efficient and, and um, effective ways of transmuting myself. And that's really how the school started, and that's really how this whole the Amarin career, if you like, started. So right now, this is behind me like 15 or so years. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but if you have any questions, I'm very open to answer and um, to fill you in in the gaps if you need to or want to know more about me. Mm. So, so the de Amarin training is coming up in April 4th to 14th uh, next month. And um, we are a trio of teachers. So the third person is Sana. She's giving her laugh and her hello. She's teaching a de armoring through pleasure training in Spain right now. Uh, she started, I think, yesterday on, on Sunday. Yeah. And uh, so it's a seven-day training. And uh, so uh, Diane and I, we wing that together so that you know this is a trio training. And it's very important to have a trio training because the three of us, we are literally the the core, you know, the, es the, the essence, the atom of the training. And then you have all these neurons flying around that kind of um, um, assistance who have been through the training at least once or twice. And uh, they are literally deepening their capacity of the training by being an assistant. So we building literally the core. Normally we have six assistants and then the uh, kind of group. And um, so the trio, because of we reflecting constantly on each other and uh, monitoring and uh, reflecting and really uh, getting feedback. So it's really interesting in the training when uh, the group and the individuals going through the process. It's not like that the three of us are finished products. We're processing as well. And we're processing on another level not on a deeper level but we're processing um on a on, on, on a very directed uh confrontational level having feedback what's going on where are we where's the groups where's this person what's going on here so it's a it's an it's an important thing and i've done this kind of training in a duo what is a complete different thing and i really really love that in a in a trio so we are kind of a transformative family and uh, maybe want to mm -hmm. add on something to that Diana. No, I just want to say that uh, uh, for those of you that don't know us, we basically don't play games. This is our life. And we put ourselves 
first into the <laughs> line of transformation. And that's what Matt was saying that when our group is having the training, the teachers are having our own training in all the breaks and we kind of help each other get real. So that's important because by us being vulnerable and, and real with our shit and the stuff that we are working on, it kind of filters out into the group and it gives, um, we lead by example. So everything that we do in our trainings is through our experience. Nothing is from the books. There is no kind of, we don't read books and teach. It's like we live it. So for us, the armoring is a lifestyle. It's a way of being, way of living. And then we transmit it to people and invite people to share that path. Mm. So this is really um, the way we work. And also like the reason we have three teachers is because we believe that the armoring is like a, it's a lifestyle, but there are many, 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 each one of us has our own lifestyle within it. And so there is not one way to do the armoring. There are literally as many practitioners that many ways. We all different because we all come from different backgrounds. We have different interests. We come from different trainings from before. Somebody comes from Tantra path. Somebody comes from psychological or like uh, uh, therapeutic background. So when they become the armoring practitioners, we all develop different style. And so having three teachers, it gives our students a very kind of real insight into how different because we are very very different completely like the approach is totally different we do the same job but we do it in a very very different way so having three of us we feel is good for students so they can take something from matt take something from sauna take something from me and that way it gives a realistic picture rather than creating robots and this is how it's done and this is you know only this is right everything else is wrong we kind of give you uh, a freedom to choose how you're going to do it and, and help you develop your style. So this is really why. And also because we like working together. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we have over these years of working together developed a really deep friendship. So we just know pretty much everything from each other and uh, guiding each other the through. The laundry. <laughs> <laughs> so through so all the process that we have been going through and uh, so, so this is what this de armoring training is pretty much about. We just get to know you. We get to know the people and people opening up Pandora's boxes in their history, in their life, in their uh, emotional um, memories and, and stored in the body. And then we do that as much lovingly and caring as we can that people getting their um, yeah, obstacle garbage baggage out of the way that they can live the most um, liberated version of themselves they want to live and manifest what they passionate about in life or even on this level of professionalism how to become a de-armoring practitioner use that um, uh, all the skills and what we teach in your own profession in your own work line and um, help other people to do the same so I want to share a few words about myself um, about my de-armoring process I started that uh, in 2010 and had no idea what the armoring was. So this was knowing that stuff from Wilhelm Reich about armor and what armor is. And so we talk more about that in the training. <clears throat> and I was in a kind of private bodywork situation and somebody was saying, hey, have you tried this de-armoring thing? And said, just now, what is it? And that's like, i show you. And then this person was walking on my arm and, you know, I'm the tough German guy and I was thinking I can just obey to everything and just go through pain and, and, and I was just, just like sitting there and just like going through this pain this person walking on my arm till all of a sudden something cracked in me the pain that I couldn't handle anymore and I was just crying yeah this was my first understanding of the armoring and then I went through different tantric schools who actually did something similar the more pain the deeper the gain and uh and, and and you know like as it was in in in, in Pune so the old Osho kind of um, neo-tantra de-armoring, kind of breaking into people's resistance and ego strategies and, um, and uh, 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 breaking through this dynamic of uh, uh, trauma and survival mechanisms and, and, and 
just like crack people open and that's a, it's a approach that I had no idea was the wrongest approach that I could imagine but that was what the teaching was in the beginning and then in 2014 I came across um, all that work with consent and uh, the dynamic of agreements and having an, an, um, yeah, a frame, a field of engagement <clears throat> and then I um, 2015 16 started to study everything around the polyvagal theory trauma um, PTSD uh, um, uh, and everything around release of trauma and how that all works emotionally in the body and the social engagement system and the connection and the level of safety and agreements and what's going to happen and then the debriefing afterwards so the entire frame the entire picture and um, and I went 2016 or 17 to Bali, and uh, I had a I probably had till then maybe 40, 50 dearmoring sessions on my own, and probably have given maybe 40, 50 or something. So I did a lot with internal dearmoring and sexual dearmoring. But then I came to Bali to um, a, a body worker. I teached how my body worked. And so, so that I could literally tell that person how to approach my muscle memory, how to approach my nervous system, how to approach my, my, my emotional body, and then go really deep through release. And that was the best thing that could happen. So I had probably 100 sessions with this person. And this is what we do kind of in the training. We talk more about that in a few minutes, what the frame or the dynamic in the training is and how we just build it up and what we do. Um, but this is uh, literally the dynamic of um, um, going deeper into the body and that, that every individual has, has an individual way of uh, um, getting approached. Dan, what's your story? I'm not going to go there. No, don't really want to go there. Time for that. No, no, no. If no. somebody has questions, please fire up. But I, I, stories mm -hmm. what i really want to know is why are you here like what are the questions that you have let's give you the floor and try to answer some questions i mean clearly you are interested in a training otherwise you wouldn't be here unless you love mud and me in which case thank you but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> let's not kid ourselves you know neither of us a beauty boy so why are you really here <laughs> <laughs> just ask yeah me basically i signed up for the training already and i just mm -hmm. want to know what i signed up for <laughs> <laughs> well, now you signed up <laughs> so um no, okay. yeah mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just i'm just curious uh, just uh, to listen and yeah mm -hmm. to get a little bit spoiled but maybe not too much do you have a question or do you have like something i don't know concern or you signed up okay but like anything Yeah, basically, what is um, what is the purpose of this thing? What is what is the armoring basically? I have uh, completely. I I just know the term, but I have no knowledge. So can I take this one, Matt? Absolutely, go for it. But this is going to be very short. So welcome to the training, and we, we're going to basically spend eleven days answering that question because it really is not easy to i can tell you in few words what the armoring is it's removing our emotional and energetic armor and it's bringing you closer to god basically blah 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 but the actual understanding in your body what it is you need to go through the training because there are so many different ways that we work with you and they're all the armoring the armoring essentially is uh, allowing people so the armoring practitioner is like a signpost i'm just showing where to look for a client. I put my finger or I ask a question or I point into a certain direction for client to focus on to that. And then the client is actually doing the work. But the answer what the armoring is, you really need to complete, this is what we call it the basic training. So mm -hmm. at the end of 11 day training, you are gonna know very clearly what the armoring is and what the armoring is not because it's very defined. Like, for example, massage is not the armoring. So it's it's a very particular thing, but it's not very easy to really understand what it is. Mm. So the purpose of the basic training is for practitioners and people who are potentially thinking of becoming practitioners 
to really deeply understand what it is and what it's not. And then if they like it, then we can recommend a further path of training for them to actually become solid, responsible and safe practitioners. Mm. Does that give you a picture? Yes, thank you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and, and a little add on to that. Um, so, so there are emotional, uh, physical, mental ways of armor that people carry and we're just working on all levels, even on the spirit, spiritual level, what is a pretty much a byproduct. And I mean, we're working as well uh, uh, personal that you uh, might have noticed when you come to a point where there is a resistance where you don't, can't go any further then the suggestion is to follow the resistance and being guided um, and uh, uh, yeah, kind of just like getting the way into the pain that you actually can release the resistance. That's pretty much the way. Yeah. And that, that, that there's, there's nothing to be afraid of, but there's a lot of to be excited about. <laughs> I'm sure. I mean, when you say pain, it's not only pain because armor doesn't really, it's not just pain. It's like, it can be many, many things. But yeah, pain is probably, I mean, it's often there. <laughs> so the, 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 any... the good pain. <laughs> yeah. 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 They actually, that's a good one. That's a very good one because, you know, there is a good and there is a bad pain. Like, for example, if somebody pinches me, there's like, get a fuck off. That's like a bad pain. Body knows that this doesn't feel good. But then there is also wholesome pain, like when you press into armor and it just feels like, mm, yeah, oh, fuck this. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's intense, but it feels wholesome. But really, we're going to go into much, 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 much more detail and depth during the training. We can't really it wouldn't be even fair to open this box here yeah. because it has to be experienced. Thank you for the questions. Uh, Fabian, you had a question, if I'm accurate. Me? reading yeah <laughs> uh, no but um, I already had contact to sign up as well for the training so I will be signing up for sure um, I'm already looking into it over more than a year ah. uh, and it is keep coming back on my path so I know I have to do this um, I'm a massage therapist oh, it uh, Tantra training for a whole year. And then I had a massage. Um, and a very good massage. And then uh, uh, the man was touching my heart. And it hurt uh -huh. like hell. <laughs> and then I said, oh my God, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. I said, I'm not, I'm just putting my, my finger on your heart. I'm not pushing anything. And then I thought, uh, what the hell? What is this? <laughs> so I wanted to know. He said it is. This is a part of the armoring, and and then I, yeah, I I was sold. I I went to look on the internet, where what, and it had to resonate. So you, it resonated with going to Sweden. Mm. Mm. Yeah, everything is yeah. So do, do you have any questions or concerns or issues that you need to resolve before you join or are you all clear? No, it is uh, quite, I know it will be a lot of uh, uh, work and self-work again, but I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's it's, it's a lot of, a lot of, as you said, um, uh, stuff will come up with people you know mm -hmm. and uh, there's a lot of snot and tears there's a lot of crying there's a lot of laughter it's a lot of of ecstasy a lot of pleasure there's a lot of joy so the whole spectrum of humanness will come to the open and that's the good thing for everyone as far as i can tell being authentic and real with the expression what is in the moment and not being afraid in real life to show your authenticity and that's um, and, and and even if it's painful, even if it hurts, and it comes with with a good cry, but being vulnerable is an it's it's an an, an, an good indicator to um, uh, get out of that work. Yeah. Can I? Yes, please go for it. 
I have quite five questions. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> Go on then, far away. First, <laughs> what type of disciplines or techniques do you include in the armoring arts? Oh la la, how long do we have? <laughs> nah, I have 20 minutes. No, <laughs> no, I but really, that's not, long, that's not enough. <laughs> that's not enough. Uh, how many techniques? Okay, can I start with this one, Matt? Absolutely, I, I, I would right. add on. All right, all right. So, essentially, how I see the armoring is 90% of the armoring is how I look at you, how I touch you, how I hold the space for you, what kind of energy comes out of me, how I talk to you, 90%. Because in those 90%, I create a bubble of safety, love and trust with you to the point that all I have to do is just and you open and the armor opens 90%. Only 10% is what you do like a technique. Mm -hmm. So really, it's not really important question what techniques we, we use many and you will learn many. And this is why we can't tell you because there is 11 days love every day you get a new technique every day you get a new knowledge every day you experience something new literally non-stop so in 20 minutes i possibly cannot even start but that's not really important what is important is this is why why this training is multi-layered design is multi-layered many you you're going to receive knowledge and information on many different levels but all of it is going to be more geared up to you becoming a vessel becoming a space that can hold your clients in and also yourself mm -hmm. and you will get a lot of technique as well mm. Mm -hmm. and um let's say the three of us um we have a kind of a curriculum and everybody is getting at the uh, beginning of the training kind of a workbook where most is um, in And but then the training is pretty much based on who is coming. You know, we have this frame and within the frame, of course, we just want to deliver all of it that we can. But then it depends on as well on the individual and um, and that we just might have more focus on one subject and then less on another. And that can be different from one training to another. But we have a kind of a core um, in the training. And let's say from that perspective, um, you will learn about uh, a a breathing techniques. Yeah, so Sana is uh, a teaching the um, neurogenetic uh, neurogenetic breath work. I teach, for yeah. example, TRE. Um, we um, go really deep into the dynamic of consent work. So how the frame and the agreement dynamic is really built how to communicate that with the person you're working with, that you take, can take that with you into your real life. Then we have a lot of um, individual emotional release techniques. We have um, the processing circle every morning, what is one of the key cornerstones of the um, uh, training. And then we have a lot of hands-on um, individual sessions. And we do a lot energetic of energetic training, energetic training. We do external dearmoring, internal dearmoring, and there will be a lot of practice sessions, a lot of fun, a lot of dancing, a lot of connection. So you will get with a whole package out. Does it answer your first question? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe this is in the website, but now it came, it came to my mind. Since when do you work with dearmoring arts as you present it now to the world? Uh, we started, uh, first it was called the Armoring Training in 2016. Mm -hmm. And then pretty much curriculum is the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, like we wrote a manual then and it's pretty much the same. But how we do it is different because we grow. So every mm -hmm. training, I'm a different guy and Matt is a different guy, Sana is a different woman. So more depth and more kind of uh, richness comes from it. Mm -hmm. Nice. Question number three. <laughs> What does a uh, day of retreat look like? Uh, basically, there is a, a breakfast session, lunch session, dinner session. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. I, I was trying to, I was trying to, to, 
to come to you last year, but I, I really, I couldn't because of money. So at that moment, I remember, maybe it's not right, but I remember that you were recommended to to don't drink coffee before to go there or something like this. Am I right? Um, no, I mean, that was Sana's idea. I would never say that because no. <laughs> I'm a coffee addict. <laughs> yes, because me too. <laughs> Relax. It's all good. Okay. Okay, okay. We have, I, I have done trainings before like Stay that. Stay next to me, you know, we'll be good, you know. <laughs> I've, I've done that before uh, years ago, kind of trainings like that, where we just like broke all this kind of different addictions. Like you just get out of smoking, you just have no alcohol, you don't drink coffee. It was you then. <laughs> It was probably was, oh, it was Anna. Uh, uh, we, we actually oh. we actually said for that for that duration of time you refrain ex yeah. as well from climaxing because your emotional body it's a pressure cooker you know and then you're just actually opening up the entire system much faster but um the the thing is people suffer and you know specifically getting getting off certain substances uh, so we just actually don't do that anymore no, I just want we, to go already <laughs> All right, question okay. number four. Um, what is the most repeated complaint in the retreats, if any? Complaint? Yeah. We don't have mm -hmm. enough time. Uh... Basically, at the end, we're all like, oh my God, this finished already. We need another week. Uh... So that's really the most <laughs> complaint that I hear. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and another one, this is where the end, Sana and I talk every time again about it, that we just really try to create this dynamic of spaciousness. Yeah, so so we we want we don't want to rush or push or hurry any, uh, anything, but then mm -hmm. we just notice as well, um, and and we we got really really good over the years with that. But then we notice after ten days or, uh, or eleven days is, you know, energetically it's a lot to digest, it's a lot to conduct, and it can feel for people you feel overdriven like a truck. I mean the the amount of energy that is emotionally, physically, mentally uh, created in spaces like that is mm -hmm. it's massive. And even for us, as we do that professionally, I need a, a week of decompression after a training. Yeah? Mm -hmm. but, but, but many participants, they have sometimes even a month where they actually the, the, the kind of emotional transformation, the repercussion, the, the processing after glow can take quite some time. What is a good thing, I think. But we have Sarah here. Sarah was at the training. Maybe just um, as much as you can share from your experience. Oh, no, she was in a bus most of the time. Oh, well, she has experience. <laughs> Are you actually coming back, Sarah? <laughs> yes, I'm coming back. Good, yeah. excellent. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, got sick. I had quite a high fever, like, let's see, four of the days, I think. Um, and uh, I, I was still uh, really connected to the space. I noticed uh, even uh, even my sharing group wouldn't let me go, so they actually came to uh, <laughs> to my camper every day to to have the sharing group. So I was quite involved, and uh, I love the fact that all of you three teachers came to visit me one day or another as well. So, but I really love the training and I, I recommend it. Um, I work with the germ ring or germ ring healing as I call it uh, now and, and have done. I actually realized that I had been before the training as well, but I didn't know that that was a way of calling it or, or what you think. So um, yeah, I love it just because well, what you have been saying, I love the fact that you really, um, yeah, you're really a good, uh, trio of people, you uh, you really bring different stuff to the training, and I like the fact that it's uh, it's from from the most loving space to the really to the edge, uh, and to the edge so much that that uh, well actually there are maybe one or maybe few people that choose to leave because it's too much, um, and. With that said, I mean, it's a super safe space and I really love that you three as teachers just keeping it real. It's not like, oh, we're gonna like have each other's backs and then we criticize each other behind uh, no, the no, scene. No, you do in it space. in front of everyone if you have different opinions. And I love that because that's really keeping it real. Yeah. Um, 
So uh, yeah, I really love that. And I, I love the openness that that creates in the space as well. So I, I love being offered to come back uh, just to be able to, to, I mean, I'm so looking forward just to train and to go there for myself as well. And perhaps get a little bit more puzzles because as you say, I mean, we all develop, hopefully. <laughs> and so have I, and so will I continue to. Uh, that's my plan, at least. Mm. Um, and I can also, because we talked about about the dearming as an experience, I, and this was actually not during the training, but uh, I extended, just exchanged um, treatments with, with a friend, and I have uh, a, a, such a fun release and I'm really going to call it fun and it was super painful I had this pain impulses going through my body but at the same time I'm getting orgasms and at the same time I am hearing myself just laughing because the body is really happy in all of this uh, and just shivering so everything can really happen at the same time when you work with the armory and that's what I love and I'm pretty, I'm pretty safe as a person, so I'm just letting it happen. I'm letting it go. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty special moment, and mm. uh, I'm just hoping that everyone gets like a little taste of that, and it will be uh, quite an amazing journey. Wonderful. Thanks, Looking Katia. forward to have you back. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but Katya, I think we the, the fifth have question a last was question. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Me. Yeah. No, um, I believe that with uh, Sarah, Sarah's experiences, this, it was a good, <laughs> okay. it was a good insight, really. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I'm working on with Thai body work, yoga, I have my own method and also working with emotional release. Mm -hmm. But sometimes I don't, sometimes it's too much for me. I don't know how to hold people. So uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. And also want to learn more about myself basically more how to work with myself hmm. because just working with yoga mobilizations and breath breath work um i don't really reach those points when i as for example in thailand with my masters or in my school right it happened to me just really once a year or so right so i really want to go deeper <laughs> you will yeah. And, and you know, <laughs> the, the powerful, beautiful thing about this kind of tribe that uh, that is happening is, um, I mean, as a professional, everybody knows that we are really good in working with people and helping people to grow and go mm -hmm. deeper on their journey. And then we actually recognize all ourselves, we're missing out on our own progress, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. coming together in this in this container. Um, so there are a lot of professionals who have the same intention, want to go deeper in their own processing. And mm -hmm. then you have a lot, a lot of peers and f you make friends with, you, you, you really create a new level of, you know, professionalism. So because there is from the beginning on no competition and it's just this, we are all one and supporting each other to grow and we're creating this little family tribe and that's absolutely yeah, transformative. You, you, you know, there has been friendship built there just like lasting for a, a lifetime for, for, for many people as professional. And, and, and to see that is, this, this itself is just really heartwarming. Sounds sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Any more questions, people? Concerns, questions? Yeah, Michael, go for it. Yeah, I, I've already asked you, Deanne. So I've already asked Matt. Um, if someone has no interest in becoming it, either as a pra practitioner or has no interest <coughs> in becoming one, is this course worthwhile? <coughs> I would say absolutely yes. So, so the beautiful dynamic of this course is that we have practitioner and non-practitioner and that when you are there as a non-practitioner you have the benefit to be in proximity with a lot of professional people so you 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 have the opportunity to get hands on your body from professional already in this um, methodology of um, the armoring and if you are a practitioner, 
um, you have as well the opportunity not only work with professional, you have as well then to work with people who are, yeah, you know, normal people who haven't done any kind of uh, work in this regard. And, and you need in the individual sessions that we have during the training, the um, you have the opportunity to tune in where they are and what they need. Yeah? And that in itself is, is one of the one of the cores of the training so that you learn a lot as a professional and you learn a lot as a non-professional. Yeah, but you, the, the non-professional is still required to turn up and give sessions, is that correct? Um, in exchanges, yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean... Yeah, what, what, I, what I wanted to say is there is never a duty of the exchange. So people have the opportunity to opt in or opt out. Yeah. Okay, so it's not, it's not like it's not like 45 minutes and flip. You can, if it's too much, you can. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's good to know. Yeah, this is what, what we teach from the beginning is self-responsibility about your limits and what you're capable of. And that, so there's never a pushing or a forcing that, that somebody has to do something. So and we're really supporting people in their truth to speaking up where they are. I feel like I want to uh, put my five cents onto uh, a topic here that the style of the armoring that we do, I don't know about others, but what we do is client is in charge. If I'm a client, I'm the boss. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to boss my practitioner around. What that means is that I'm going to take full responsibility for my experience. I, as a client, need to learn how to de-armor myself. And it, from that perspective, it actually doesn't make any difference whether my practitioner is a professional or a first-timer because all they have to do is tune in with me and ask me, am I on the right spot? And I would say, mm, no, just like they put a finger here. Am I on the right spot? No, let me just, oh, there, just there, just hold it there. And then I, as a receiver, take full responsibility for breathing into feeling, transmuting, transforming, and working through whatever I'm feeling here. So this is also why it's very possible to have no experience in body work before and offer a super, super valuable session to someone. <clears throat> because if that someone knows how to actually work with themselves, and this is what we teach you in a training, this is the large part is taking personal responsibility for your own process, because only then you can become a practitioner and teach your clients how to become responsible for the process. Do you get me? Yes. Um, I have another question. Can I add so, something first? Because I'm like sitting and jumping. <laughs> the maybe, inside. maybe. If you, I don't know. I don't know. I don't maybe know. Sure. Okay. It's basically for me. It's about the personal growth as much as it's uh, relationship training. I mean, it's it's so valuable to be able to feel into someone else, to feel into another human, what's happening in their body. And that's not during the training or if you're a practitioner, that's just in, in life and in personal mm -hmm. meetings with others. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask was, you know, like all the treats and what have you, they all, you know, sometimes you call me and it's amazing. And then you have the kind of um, the half-life tail off where, you know, obviously the peak experience and it starts to dwindle and if I'm coming to this and I'm not going to be a practitioner, like what's, and there's, there's a very limited scope for top ups somewhere else. <coughs> like, can you, can we address that in some way? I'm not sure what I want to ask. It's just like, I'm not really sure oh, no. that I understand the question, Michael. So the retreat lasts for 11 days and then I leave. Yeah. And then I come home. I'm not a practitioner and I perhaps won't have access to you guys or other practitioners nearby. So then is it just like, oh, that was a peak experience? Great. I mean, what what's the dynamic of that? I, I, I imagine this is difficult for you to answer, but as a non-practitioner, what can I expect? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to try it. Let, yeah, let, yeah. Give me a second. 
So if I'm understanding you correctly, uh, the training itself is designed in two parts. You can say 50-50. 50% you're going to learn to be a practitioner. So you're going to learn plenty of theory. You're going to learn do's and don'ts. You're going to learn things. Other 50% or more is going to be a personal transformational retreat. So meaning that 50% of the time you are going through your own transformation, you are meeting your own demons, you're looking at your own shadows, you're growing as a person. And that transformation is not a peak experience. That's happening there and there, and you're being transformed. This is not something that, at least if we do our job right, and if you kind of put yourself on the table and say, this is me, you say this stuff works, show me, then the transformation, hardcore transformation, will actually happen within 11 days you go home a different person. This is not something that's going to come up and down. This is going to stay. What will come up and down is the whole, I mean, there are going to be many people and it's super intense. So that is going to be a peak experience. Your nervous system, your whole energetic body will need time to exhale and to integrate. Yeah. But the stuff that you transformed, this is going to stay with you forever. And this is the beauty of the armoring. The armoring actually deals with the root cause of whatever issue there is. So once you transform it, it never comes back again. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I guess it does. Um, yeah. And um, yeah. can I add a little bit to that? So, so the the thing is, um, you will have a decompression after. 10 days of um, processing yourself and um, others processing themselves. This is undeniable. It will happen, you know. Uh, and another part is, and we just started that, um, uh, that after the training, when you are on your own, we have, for example, a Facebook group. And in that Facebook group, you can address if you have anything going on. Uh, see if there are, you know, wherever you live, uh, is there, are there people around me I can maybe exchange and practice with? Uh, we have started after the last training. This is probably now the, I think the fifth or the sixth webinar that we do. So, so that we have ongoing live uh, online sessions where you can just jump in and just say what's going on, where's, what's the problem, what do you need more of? And in the training in itself, you will have a sharing group. And in that sharing group, um, it creates as well a um, connection, friendship with people that you can continue after the training to meet in any form you want to have more of connection. And another important piece is, and I just want to drop that pretty soon, um, we check as well before we welcome people to the training in a one-on-one -on -one call. So, so this calls now, we just you get to know us and, and we share a little bit. But we're not taking as well everybody at the training. And we want to make sure that we are a good fit and that this training is a good fit for you. And we offer for everyone um, to check that out a minimum of a 30-minute check-in call where we just have a real conversation to see where you are, what's going on in your life, what's your intention, what would you like to get out of it, what do you really need, what's your concern, and what do you really struggle with. So, so that we see at the end of that call that we know and you know that this is a good fit because we want people who really want, in, want to go through this process. Yeah, as an individual and as a professional. And if that's something that is resonating with you and you said, okay, I just uh, really want to give it a go, then um, you're more than welcome to have an individual one-on-one -on -one call with me or with Deanne, and then um, we check each other out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. And by saying that, I just want to drop that link. Um, uh, so please copy that out. One link is where you can book a call with me and the other one is um, no, here we are and the other one is from the training no that was the wrong to everyone in the meeting here we go so please copy and paste that link somehow or click the button open it and um, feel free to choose a time that works best for you and if you want to have a call with the end 
Um, I don't know, you have a link, Dan, or, or how, how do you want to do it? I don't have a, a link, but uh, if anybody you want to have a call, just raise a hand and we'll kind of hook up. Okay. I will find you, or you find me. Yes, okay. Uh, Fabian. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you all. I'll write my email here one second. And there is David's hand. Is it, is it clapping applause, or would you like to ask or say something? And I if, would like to have... Uh contact to Dan as well. Okay. All right, so I've just put my email address in there. Uh, you're driving, David. Can you copy it or? Uh, yeah, I will copy it before uh, I end, we end this call. Yeah, so okay. it's okay. Okay, but also if not, uh, Matt, you have a David's contact, right? Um, I uh, no no it it must be on you it's uh, uh, run over your Zoom. Okay. Uh, yeah. But Dan, we have been in contact before, so. I oh, so you, you find me, find me. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you yeah, yeah. find me. All right. Cool. So any more questions, concerns? You'd like to come to a training, but... I have a concern. And, uh, yeah? yeah? And then it's, Michelle. It's, uh, I know it's might, might be hard to, to answer because it's, it's, it's personal, but it's the, the decompression and, you know, how much I don't know how much space I I I, I should uh, like count in to to uh, create for myself or whatever about okay. going back to work, you know. Mm -hmm. right. So I have a question. Uh, have you ever taken uh, ayahuasca? Not ayahuasca, no. Okay. Anything like psychedelics? Yeah. LSD. Okay, what? how much? How often? How many times? Uh, maybe mushrooms uh, three times, 2.6 grams, and LSD like uh, half a tab, uh, four times, let's say. Okay, cool. So you have some kind of experience of intense uh, experience that you need to be able to hold yourself in center without going off the rails. And when in center, kind of when shit hits the fan, you can hold yourself, right? I would say, yeah. Okay, so I also, when I feel your energy, I also get a yes. So the training can be super, super deep. Mm -hmm. And uh, my personal recommendation, take as much time as you can yeah. But also, some people go to work straight afterwards, and then they decompress slowly over a longer time. You see uh, what I mean? Really, yeah, like, yeah. it's personal and it depends. But if you've taken psychedelics, your system is already calibrated in order to take intensity and to function. So this is going to be kind of similar experience. It's like a ceremony without Mama Aya. You know, it gets super intense, and yet it's kind of the session finishes and you can navigate your life and you can come back in the center. It will take time and hopefully it will take a long time, which means that you got a lot out of it. <clears throat> but it's designed, we've done this so many times and it's designed in a way that you can actually uh, integrate it and, uh, and, and survive. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, yeah. and like with your work, with your relationships and stuff, you know, yeah. <clears throat> but and don't hold back, you know, don't hold, please don't hold back, like go full in all in you know really milk us for every penny because that's really it's like it's not really often that people have the chance to spend 11 days in a container like that mm -hmm. i know it's our trade but man this is fucking real we don't play games <clears throat> so if you really have real issues real kind of stuff that you're dealing with just like chalky on the table come on show me and then mm -hmm. your life will change and so that's the whole point and and you will be different when you come out and of course, you will need time to readjust to new self and, and reorganize your life and your whole base, your whole root chakra will need time to reposition your life around you and for the mirrors to reposition themselves to, to new you, to recalibrate to new you, you know. So this is like the, 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 the that's my kind of highest wish for you for everybody who comes to the training for actually to have a different life so when you come out you're actually a different person you know 
Yeah, I would like to add something to that as well. You know, I've heard from people who said, you know, this 10 or the intensity of this 10, 11 day training is like um, compared to a year of therapy, you know. It's, it can be intense. And the recommendation that we have at the, at the end of the last day, what is the closing around four o'clock? Um, so then you have a probably, it depends where you live, you have a day of travel. So that means you will maybe travel the, the evening of that day or you just maybe have a day or night over in Stockholm and then you have another, the next day of travel. I would highly recommend not to go to work the next day if you, if you don't have to. You know, just like, just be good to yourself. Have a day in nature, have a day off. Just, just let that all drink in and, 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 and land, let it land. You know, this, this day, even if you have two days, it will be so much more beneficial for you. But if you need to just like jump in something back in and is important, then um, of course you can. But I, I, I guess you will have a different perspective of life after the training. Then you might have an appointment that you have created before the training for after the training. So just be conscious about that. That would be my five cents. Yeah, uh, Michaela, you you're, not, you're not any clearer, are you? Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I am. I am actually. It's uh, because, uh, yeah, but we can talk you more about that then when we have our private session. Sure, so, sure, yeah, sure. Thank you. All right. Any more questions? Michaela had her hand up. Mm -hmm. ah. Just a simple question: How often do you offer the basic training? Is it once a year? Normally twice, but uh, mm -hmm. sometimes once, yeah. Hmm? Uh, normally twice a year, but uh, mm -hmm. um, actually sometimes once. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, thank you. We, I don't know, it doesn't really fit, but I just, I just want to say that. Um, Sana found a new place. So normally we have done that in Schepsöden. That's a, a three hour ride from Stockholm. Now we are an hour north of Stockholm in a place that calls Vestera. And it's a really nice place. It's, an, it's, it's, it's like a big mansion with amazing uh, rooms and uh, it's just a great session room and it's absolutely beautiful in nature. So uh, in this, this time, it's the first time, but we plan that every um, half a year. Is that right? So next one. Next one is yeah in November yeah. Yeah. Okay, cause I'm not prepared. Cause one hour ago, a friend of mine sent me the invitation to this Zoom call and said to me, "You have to do it." <laughs> oh, cool. and so I'm here. Don't hesitate. Any information <laughs> without being on your web page? Nothing. Just mm -hmm. jumped in. Mm -hmm. So why did your friend tell you you have to do it? Um, cause I'm working as a sex therapist and I work a lot with the Yoni app. You know, you heard about it, I'm sure. Of course. Yeah. And I'm working with the Yoni app, but not in a sexual way. It's like trauma release. Um, yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Come, come. If you, yes. if you want to take a call either with Matt or with me, please do. I, You're super welcome to come. Yeah, and I super have... Welcome. Yeah, thank you. I, I, I feel the call, but to be honest, I came from ayahuasca <laughs> and from a very deep process, and I have the feeling right now it would be too much. It's okay. it's still a month to go, and mm -hmm. I have so much to I have, I have so much to say about yoni healing, and mm -hmm. uh, muscle contraction and trauma release, and um, as a professional, uh, I would highly recommend you you get that. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Maybe I do the private call, and then we talk more. Yeah. About yes. That. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, please copy copy the link for the for mm, the map. I already did it. Yeah. <laughs> and all right, uh, any more questions? Thank you. And we can as yeah, well yeah. speak German. I'm German. 
It would be great because my English is not so good. <laughs> Perfect. We will figure that out. Okay. Questions, questions, concerns, ideas. I want to come, but, or I don't want to come, but, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, who is sitting on the fence here? Who would like to come, but something logistically or financially or something doesn't work? Who has a yes, but? Yeah. No one. But a no. Okay. But a no, but is as well welcome. So do you have a no because <laughs> is as well welcome. So you know what, what whatever your um, position is. Basically, like on a financial side, I just want to say there are two offers. One is uh, we're offering for a couple. It doesn't have to be actual couple. It can be just two friends. But basically, any two people coming, uh, there is a good discount uh, for that. So each one pays uh, two thousand five hundred. So it's almost 300 uh, euro discount each. So for two people, obviously plus VAT. So that's one thing. And the other one is for people that uh, really want to come but can't afford it all. Then we are offering a super flexible, super duper good uh, installment plan. So you just pay the deposit or we can figure out how much you want to pay uh, upfront and then spread it over X amount of months afterwards. Hmm. So basically we're doing it so that we know the training is not cheap, but I personally don't want money to be a problem for people not joining because it really is a valuable training. So if some of you would like to come, but have a financial problem or like potentially you can't come because you don't have cash right now, get in touch and we'll figure it out. And like it's, it's, it's all workable and it's doable. Don't let that stop you coming. Mm. Yeah. Being said that, um, you don't need to come as a couple with your partner. If you have a friend or a colleague or somebody else who is as well interested, um, you can come as a pair, let's say it that way. Yeah. So, so, and uh, and get, get a discount. That's our offer. So, any more questions? Somebody left a message, let's see. Okay, it looks like we are, um, okay. is there anything? No, okay. I should just say Sophie. Um, so we don't want to write on energy if there are no other questions. And if your curiosity is uh, satisfied and uh, you get all the information that you needed um, or anything else that you um, wasn't aware of that you will hear, um, then um, maybe a few questions. Um, what's your aha? What's your takeaway? What has fired your curiosity? And um, anything that you might consider for the future or anything else you want to say to kind of wrap it slowly up if there are no other questions. And while that's happening, please make sure you copy the uh, email address and the links before we close it because otherwise it goes away. Anything that has resonated? Anything Magnus, you seem deep in thought for the whole process. What's happening <clears throat> in your head? Oh, now we have a microphone. Yay. Hey. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I don't know how much I would have done of a process. That's what I'm thinking of. I've done lots of process for my life and I went through the, I don't know if you recognize psychosynthesis. Psychosynthesis. Um, By Fabian. In Stockholm for two years and lots of, uh, yeah, I did a lot of the arming there and stuff like that. I have an enlightenment and yeah, thinking of what I'm going right now in my life and maybe I have some day arming in my body left, I think, but. I don't know. Hmm. If you want to talk about it, we don't have time right now, but either get in touch with me or Matt and we can hop on Zoom for, for some time and chat. And even if you don't come to the training, maybe we can recommend something else or, hmm. you know. Do, do you have a profession as a body worker or therapist or uh, some in, in, in this area? 
No, no. And, and this is something that you might consider or that you have considered or... Okay. I'm in, I'm in a place I don't have to do anything. Oh my God, luxury. <laughs> can, can we all be envy? Well, so, so, so what are you doing? Not just because of the money, yet more because of my travels, my, my spiritual path that have come to this place. That I'm, yeah. Oh, nice. And, okay. Maybe we come to a training of yours and you teach us how. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Anybody else to wrap it up and complete it? Uh, three, two, one. Fabienne? Uh, just wanted to say that um, now I'm very excited and I'm really looking forward to it, but I also know that when it will be there, I will be very anxious as well. Yes, that's normal. And that's yeah. all very welcome. That's normal, yeah. I mean, if you were not anxious coming to this kind of training, I'm worried. Yeah. <laughs> really, I mean, you're walking into fire. Like we're mm -hmm. not playing games there, so of course it's going to be exciting and and sometimes scary. I'll be scary sometimes, so I need to also warn you. My job in there is like we have like we play different roles, and my role is this like sergeant major. You know, I cannot keep the I. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm, okay. Then saying thank you and for the one of you who are choosing to join. We're looking forward. More than happy to see you in person and um yeah. exchanging ten days of transformation with you. Eleven. Eleven. And if you have any other questions, please questions. feel free to reach out to one of us. Yeah. And thank you for spending. Yeah, don't be shy with that, really. Like no. class, we're here. We're here for you. Yeah. Don't be shy. Then um, thank you for spending that time with us here today, asking your questions, being curious and interested, and um, have an amazing day. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing you in person. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, and have a beautiful evening. Yeah. All right. You too. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Take good care. Much love. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.